was that a surprise that gave the team fits? No, we, we, we pretty much knew how they were going to play defense just because that's the way Miami plays in the regular season. And, and we, uh, we just we did exactly what they wanted us to do. We, we let them speed us up, and they, they controlled the pace. You guys had talked about coming in this, you know, kind of wanting to build winning habits. Mm -hmm. How frustrating is it right now to lose a couple of these games? Uh, it's tough. I mean, especially today, they, they outplayed us from the start to the finish. You know, like one through 15 or 14, whatever, how many plays we have on our team, they outplayed us. And it's just, it's just frustrating. I mean, uh, I guess that kind of starts with uh, me because, you know, I should, I should be a leader on this team. And, you know, I can't let that happen. Can you take any, any positives away from a game like that? Um, no, that's top of my head. I can't think of anything that. You're feeling more confident. Do you feel like you need to take that leadership role? Is that is that something that you expected to do this summer, or something that was something the coaches wanted you to do? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've talked to the coaches in the front office plenty of times, and that's something they want me to do. But um, it's going to take a little time. Right? It doesn't, it doesn't happen overnight. Maurice, how do you guys regroup now that you got a day off to kind of recuperate? Uh, you just you just get your rest. You know, um, can't do anything about today. Just gotta. Be mentally ready and physically ready on, on Thursday. Well, now that you have a year experience, are you trying to be more vocal, especially with younger guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm definitely, especially just trying to, because you know a lot of the mistakes that we make defensively, uh, I made the same mistakes these guys made last year. And I'm just trying to teach them on the fly as we go, and they're, they're, they listen, so they're doing a great job. At the end of the game. You guys needed that bucket to, to get at least a point in this thing in the score system. Do, do, do you guys care about that? It seems like Miami was really after being this week, and you guys obviously called timeout. Is that something you guys think about? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's, the way this thing's set up, you got to try to get as many points as you can. And obviously, we wanted to uh, leave the game with at least one point. You know, we lost every quarter in the game, so it's just, it's just embarrassing. Yeah, obviously. Anyone hates to see anybody get hurt, but how frustrating was it to see Duran go down with Brad? I mean, it's tough. You know, uh, we lose a lot of our starters in this in some league, and he's been playing really well. He's been a big piece of our uh, team thus far, and then uh, see him go down. I mean, it's tough, but um, it happens. You know, we gotta, he'll be all right, and we just got to come together with him. Did you see what happened to Duran? Did he bang knees? Did he, I mean, what did you see on that? I didn't see it, but he, he, said he, he said he banged knees, and his knees were already a little, a little sore. And it was just, Made it, made it even worse. Very good. Hey Mel, how, how needed is an off day tomorrow? I mean, you feel like you really need it right now? Uh, I mean, you can tell guys are a little tired. I mean, it's, it's, I think it's it's great that we have an off day tomorrow. You know, it's just tough to play five games in six days anywhere. You know, and haven't done this since we were like 17 playing AAU. Hey, thanks. Thanks.